Hey, Don Alder here, just on the road in Germany, and I uh, thought I'd kind of do this little uh, little tutorial for you on nails, because what happens when you're traveling, you'll wake up and you realize you've knocked off one of your acrylic nails and stuff like that. So uh, that's what happened to me, I've uh, busted a nail, but luckily my nail underneath is still a little bit intact, there's a little cut in it, but uh, uh, I have this portable little kit that I bring along with me, and it's, if you're ever interested, it's from a guy named... Uh, Carlos Juan E U so C A R L C A R L O S J U A N dot E U, and uh, actually I'd have one at home, but he actually shipped this to me while I was here. So uh, basically, it's a little kit, and it contains everything you need inside of it, which is really great. So I'll show you what you get, and uh, I should tell you this is a gel. It's actually not the powder, so. Um, I'm not sure which one you like better, but gel seems to work fine. Um, for me, I become really reactive to a lot of different products, so uh, so I just put this on as a protective coating, and then I actually would probably go get acrylic on top of that. Uh, but you don't have to if you're not facing those issues. So you get, uh, of course, the gel. Um, this is, I guess, is a cleaner, so you want to make sure you clean the spot before you actually put it, put, any, put any gel on it. And then I guess this works to help harden the gel. Um, get a little buffer, hey. Um, and if you want to extend the nail out, you can do this too. Uh, I'm not sure if I will do this. Um, I could try this. Uh, I might just do it, but we'll see. Uh, really, I just need gel on top of the nail. Okay, uh, so we got that. If you want to build up from scratch, uh, you have a timer. Hey, you can cook your chicken too with this little guy. So um, I know you have to go to three minutes. So then we have a lamp, um, and so it's a little, I guess, fluorescent lamp. And I've got the power supply already down here, so plug this puppy in, and bingo, we have. And Don said, "Let there be light." Haha. <laughs> so um, there you got fluorescent lamp. So the idea is, I will clean. I'll buff down a little bit. Um, I'll clean it, and then I will apply the. Uh, the liquid that makes it all happen and then put the gel on. He also supplies you a brush, you get a nail file and uh, one chopstick because you have to learn how to use one, not two. I'm not sure what this is for, for so maybe for pushing back to cuticles or something. I don't know. I'm not going to use that. don't know what it is. So I'm just going to buff this down just a hair uh, just to make it a little bit better for grabbing onto so you can see closely. And then I'm gonna put on this cleaner. And so you don't want any moisture underneath because that could cause you fungus. Um, so just wipe that off. So it's a pretty easy process and uh, having a kit like this will stop you from panicking from trying to find a place where people don't speak English. Um, I'm sure you've all experienced that in the nail world. A bad nail can be just as bad as having no nail. So put on a touch of this. Put it dry. Ooh, it smells wild. Pretty good wild. Okay, so now we get to the magic gel. So, I think uh, Carlos put this kit together for uh, Pat Matheny and uh, then realize just how valuable it is to musicians who play flamenco or uh, you know, classical or even steel string. And uh, of course there's a brush. So this is the first time use. I think I'll just kind of keep this lid on so when I travel back home it doesn't uh, get all the place. But I might, just, I might leave this in Europe, hey. So next step is to paint it on. So do a little dab. Yeah, gel, it's def definitely gel. And I'm going to try to be careful so I don't get it all over the place. Spin it round and round. Hey. Uh, and now here's where you have to practice things with your left hand. So, here we go. The big moment. Ta-da! All right. So, just, oh, you have to break it and brush it a little bit. There we go. So, if your nails are already naturally at the length that you want to use in that. You can use this as a coating to go on top and it's a really great hardener. Um, 
I've used this at home. It's awesome stuff. And so I'm going to put a bit more on. Mm hmm. Because you want a nice thick coating. There you go. It's like painting by numbers, but there's no numbers. Hey. Okay, so there you have it. And as I said, for me, this is just my, my barrier. I'm actually going to go down and get some acrylic put on top of that. Um, but uh, I wouldn't have to. You could just use it the way it is. And if you want you know, to take an extra step, you can put on this little sculpting device and uh, extend the nail out, right? But uh, my nail's almost long enough, so I'm not going to do that. So the next step is to, well, clean the brush. But no, actually, first we should probably cure the nail. But first, put away your stuff. Because if that gets exposed to the light, then you're probably going to have to buy another bottle. Haha. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Done there. I'm just going to wipe the brush off. Ta da! And um, here we go. Now the lamp part. So three minutes with this groovy portable little lamp. It also runs off batteries too. So we went three minutes. And. Uh, can I bore you three minutes? I'll probably come back, but uh, I'll keep chatting. And um, yeah, so I think this takes about three or four batteries, uh, or you just get a charger for it. You switch it on, you set your little timer for three minutes, and do the countdown. And this is a great little device. Um, yeah, you can cook your chicken with it, you can cook your beef with it, you'll never be late for your girlfriend with it. Hey, multiple use. <laughs> So, um, yeah, Carlos Juan, ta-da, and uh, I guess, you know, if, you, uh, if your music career is failing and you, uh, you know, you need to kind of scrub floors, haha, <laughs> I get you a little scrub brush. So there you have it. That's all you got to do, and um, I'll see you in two minutes. But I'm still going to sit here and talk to you, haha. <laughs> so I'm here in Germany, uh, my first time as a solo artist. Uh, we've done four venues so far. It's been really, really awesome. Um, seen some amazing towns. Went to Aachen. Uh, I forget the names of the other towns. Uh, Otterhof, I think. And um, but so the town we went to last uh, last night um, was an old Russian or old uh, Roman um, ruin with the Colosseum and stuff like that. So we got to go in and take a few pictures and stuff. And uh, that's been great. And so over here also, Yamaha's been helping me out. Yamaha Germany sent me a guitar. And uh, when I get to the UK, Yamaha UK will send me a guitar there. Uh, got some cool things lined up. Um, I'm hoping uh, Lori Weisfeld will play on a tune or two. Uh, I might have Chad Wackerman on a tune or two for my new CD. And um, who else? Oh yeah, I'm going to go to finally see Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds. Ah, finally. Uh, I've been waiting, dying to do that. And I'm going to go with uh, John Parr. Uh, which will be a lot of fun. And then going uh, back to John Pars and staying for a couple days. And then I'm going to be joining up with Stuart Masters. I'm going to be doing some gigs. And I'll follow it up by going to Paris and, uh, and doing a gig in, in Paris with Shai Shabag, um, which will be awesome, awesome, awesome. And then it's back home. So there we go. Uh, 40 seconds. Can I tell you a joke? Mm, probably not because my jokes are really slow. I just came. So here we are, almost done. And um, it's looking good. It's getting looks like it's getting hard. So the next step is I'm actually going to take the cloth with a bit of cleaner and wipe off the excess because there's always excess uh, when you do this kind of thing. It never fully hardens in the top. The layer kind of underneath does. So uh, this way we got. Let's do the countdown. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Aha! Baked. So I'll shut off the lamp for a second. I should probably move this thing way out of the way. So we have a nice little carrying kit. Um, and now I will clean. And I'm going to do it one more time on the lamp for another three minutes. And then I would say I'm ready to go to the party. Bring it on, ladies. Want a nail party? So. Aha, feeling much better, much better. Okay, so I'll just do one more little round here. And uh, thanks for your time, you guys. And hopefully this video is going to have some use for you for traveling guitarists. 
And uh, my name's Don Alder, and cheerio.